Are we good overnight in the parking lot or not at this one? Oh, it is posted. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Omaha. Yeah. I'm going to camp at Palisades tomorrow. Yeah. I was looking for something free tonight, I guess. Oh, Flying J. Okay. I, I had that on my list too. So. All right. Oh, no worries. No worries. Thank you. We cannot camp here. I could not hear that guy for nothing. That machinery running. Tailgaters, I believe, just off I-90 in South Dakota. We are just east of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Good spot. I was aiming for, and it's kind of funny, I was like, I told my wife when I was leaving, I'm like, is it weird that I'm excited to sleep in a Walmart parking lot? <laughs> so we get into, I believe it was, it's Brandon, South Dakota. It's like a suburb of Sioux Falls. The Walmart I had tagged, and you could tell people had been staying there on Google Maps and stuff. Pull in, ask the security guard first thing, like, hey, is it okay to stay here? And he's like, nope, just changed policies, signs are all up, no overnight parking. So we had to scramble a little bit, and I'm kind of bummed. I really wanted to stay in a Walmart. I think it's kind of a rite of passage for a uh, van lifer to do that. We have a great adventure, hopefully, on tap for you. I am in South Dakota, and I was thinking about it too. It's the first time I've ever stayed overnight in my van in South Dakota. It's so weird, our cabin looks at South Dakota. I've been through South Dakota a bunch, I thought about it, I'm like, I have never stayed overnight. So we got that taken care of. So South Dakota's off the list for staying overnight. We're right next to Minnesota, the Minnesota border, right that little pocket right there. But first up, we gotta get some teeth brushed and some coffee. Hopefully we can do that at the uh, convenience store next door. One thing I forgot to mention, my name's Dave. Welcome to Van Camp 402. We do a little weekly van camp in here. I am a retired Omaha firefighter, married with three awesome boys out exploring the Midwest here. If you have any ideas of places to camp, and that's where this idea came from, was a subscriber, so thank you. They said, hey, you gotta check out Palisades, and I think they were just here Memorial Day weekend. The, said they were able to get a spot, and it was beautiful. Off a subscriber tip, boom. We're up to Palisades, and we're gonna check this out. Like I said, we're just gonna literally slide a parking lot over to the uh, illustrious coffee cup convenience store. Let's get some coffee.
morning. Good. Um, I was going to camp tonight. Okay. Is that all right? Um, yeah, you looking for a spot then? Yeah, but yeah. can I go do a lap real yeah, quick? So I will give you a map that you can go through and look at some sites. That okay. Maybe the call center number to call. Oh, they is that? Just call them and they make that reservation for you once you get to this Oh, spot. okay. So they can do that with a card online then yep. or something? Oh, cool. And then do I need to pay you for a pass or yep. something so to it's do? It's $8 for a day pass. Otherwise, it's $36 for an annual. Are you going to be around South Dakota for a while? No. No, I'm just passing yeah, through. $8. Looks like a beautiful park. Yeah. 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 We, we recently expanded, so this is kind of our newer area of the park. And then as you get in there a little bit, you'll see all it. I saw it because I'm a Google Map guy, and uh, that King Campground isn't on Google Maps yeah. yet, or something like that. Well, really <laughs> like, it doesn't even make sense. Electric. I'll probably do electric tonight. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so yeah, much. You yeah. We are legal. We made it to camp. I don't know if you can tell behind me or not. It's a beautiful park. Excited to be here. You do have to do an online reservation. They do have check-in at the front gate, but he said just drive around and then you, on your phone is how you register your campsite. I did run into the campground host. Seems like a nice guy. We've got our spot. We're in site 86E at Palisade State Park in South Dakota. We're gonna get uh, leveled up. It's a beautiful morning here. We're gonna get leveled up a little bit. It's There's a little bit of a slope we gotta uh, adjust for. All right, here's our host. This is this is last year's map. So oh, okay. All the numbers are different. Oh, I understand. These are last year's, so. Okay. It don't have the new entrances right here. Okay. You know, see so all these dotted lines are the hiking trails. Oh, okay, perfect. That new map, if you you compare this to that new map, it's, it's I don't know how everybody come up with that really? new map. It's so, so teeny and it doesn't show much of the yeah. trails. Here it's more enlarged. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. You can yeah. see the trails better. Well, that was nice. Uh, Merle, nice to meet you. Gave me a, a really good detailed map of the camp. Let me grab that for you real quick. It's a little bit different map than what they hand out. He said it's the uh, old school map, so all the numbers are wrong for the campgrounds. But the trail map is way better. And we're going to go explore. That's our deal today. We're going to explore some trails. I wrote his name down. I'm horrible with names lately. I'm like, I'm going to write that down right away. So Merle, thank you again. Great to meet you. Great campground host. He's a retired Air Force, so kind of cool. There he goes. <laughs> He's got uh, camp host duties. We're all checked in. Like I said, you got to do that on your phone with an app. Or not even an app. On a website, you have to do it on your phone which actually isn't too bad as long as you have cell service. That's the big thing I've ran into with that sometimes. I'm gonna get the van leveled up, I gotta get the screens up, and we're just gonna get settled in here for a minute, then we'll check back in. We're leveled up really well. Let's get the rug down and get plugged in. We're in a good spot. Already the uh, mosquitoes have found us. So we're three miles from Minnesota, but we do have the Minnesota... Oh no, did that break? It just broke, live on camera. Literally just broke that thing. Dang it. It's ridiculous. Kenny of all trades, keep your mosquitoes. <laughs> I don't want them. see me better. It's nice having my bike here today so that I can leave camp set up and kind of cruise around a little bit and that's why I brought it. We are going to uh, do some hiking. Merle pointed out a great spot up just on top of this hill right here behind the amphitheater. We're going to go check that out. That might be our first stop. We are going to get the bike out and cruise around. It's a beautiful park. Well, right now, we're just kind of doing a little mini lap. Just wanted to get out, stretch my legs a little bit from sleeping last night. It was kind of nice. So that, I drove up last night because I wanted to be able to have a full day at this park. 
Mary, thank you for letting me uh, cruise out a night early. So I got up to Sioux Falls and I so bad wanted to stay at that Walmart. To, uh, they don't allow it anymore. And I was like, God dang it. But I was only, what was I, nine minutes from the park. And I stayed for free last night. So that was kind of part of the deal. But it just cut my travel time down for today to nine minutes instead of three hours. Which is really nice. So we can, we have the day to explore the park. I just walked up to the amphitheater type thing. We need bug spray quickly. There's a really nice creek that runs right behind the campground here, right through the campground. I'll show you a couple pictures of that. We're in a nice spot. There's a lot more to show here yet today. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. enough exploring <laughs> let's get back to the van i'm still in yesterday's clothes from uh, sleeping this is just one of those places it's just like oh man look at that and oh go look at that and go look at that i just need to get back i'm gonna make a quick sandwich for breakfast my wife sent some uh, turkey along we're gonna do that real quick then i'm gonna get geared up for a hike we need to do some pictures before our light gets real bad this afternoon but man this is a cool place I think our theme of the summer is running water. Love having that right here. Just beautiful. We have made it back. I'm gonna just throw a quick sandwich together. You can hear in the background, I've got my fan running, just trying to keep it a little bit cooler in here today. It's 75 in here right now, it's not horrible. I do, I'm gonna have some afternoon sun and then hopefully where I'm positioned, the sun hits this tree right here and we have some shade in a little bit. We are gonna get some camera gear together. First, I gotta eat something real quick. And then, uh, man, I'm excited to go explore this park. I'm ex excited to share it with you too. It's gonna be a great day. I'm not usually a bug spray guy, I can't stand how it feels on your skin the amount of mosquitoes flies I'm guessing there's some chiggers probably a tick or two and there's showers i'm still wearing my same clothes from yesterday I'm like no point in changing ah. might as well get bug sprayed up kind of have a layer on today and then later we can hit the shower and get all this off I can't I can't crawl into bed with this stuff on me we're almost ready for a hike one of the things I like about these bug things too is they can be in I can still shut the doors Let's go for a walk today, shall we? I'm gonna do the best I can to convey the beauty. It is pretty here.
Looks like you can, uh, there's kind of a trail here. If you want to climb up through that, man, this rock is so slippery. It's got just the smallest layer of mud on it and then it's wet and it just couldn't be more treacherous. Cool spot here, look at this. All right, let's keep on moving. Let's punch through this. What could go wrong? Trail's a little overgrown here. I believe I'm still on the trail, or is that the way out? Is that the end? Oh, that I might be at the end, actually. That bridge is right up there. Ah, oh, just beautiful. Yeah, this must be the end of the trail. ready to uh, go out on the bridge here. Sorry, we have a motorcycle that's kind of moving around the park. And you can actually, he drove his motorcycle over this. It's just kind of loud and ruins the video. So just want him to like, hey, do your lap and get out of here. Just enjoying the park, right? Yeah, let's uh, check out this bridge here. It looks pretty cool. Well, we just grabbed a couple of really good pictures here. And now we're on the other side of the river here. And I, you know what? I need to look up what river this, that is that creates all that. But there's supposed to be uh, a balancing rock or something like that down this way. So we're going to go check that out. So I want to see there was a sign here. I'll show you real quick. Right now we're getting ready to walk back over the bridge for a second time, get back over to our side of the river. Oh, it's just a beautiful place, isn't it? Neat spot. Our light isn't very good right now, so I'm kind of keeping the camera at bay a little bit, and I knew it wouldn't be. But it's just too pretty to not be out here and enjoy this. Good stuff. Trails in here are all really, really nice. Beautiful hiking. Do put some bug spray on this time of year. Oh, this is cool. This very much reminds me of the Ozarks when we went on that hike. Dropping down in between these rocks. Cool stairs. Oh, wow, look at that. You can see the river clear down there. Oh, wow. Man, this place is cool. Love it. All right, we're gonna keep descending down and kind of see what we're in here. This is awesome. I'm gonna turn this back around real quick. So that's the rest of the way down. You can hear the river. This is turned back around, looking back up from where we came from. How cool is that? Got these great big rock formations up here behind me. Look at that split right all the way up to the top there. Man, it's neat in here. A lot of bugs. 
but it's really neat. Walk our way up and out here. Oh, there is a lower trail. Let's go with for this. I came uh, came down. There's a staircase back there. I came down that to here, and we went around that corner. Now let's go uh, check out this. Looks like there's kind of a trail, pretty solid that runs along the river. Let's go check that out. Hopefully we can get back up this way. Otherwise, we got to go all the way back and around. Oh, wow. Look at that. This place is cool. All right, I'm going to spin you folks around and show you what I'm looking at here. I'm glad you folks came along. Folks, I'm going to walk up here and get a drink. They have some really nice water fountains. I'm going to hit that real quick. I'm going to work my way back to the van. So I will catch up with you guys back at the uh, back at the ranch, as they say. It's a great day. We're gonna head out for a ride real quick. I just want to uh, find those other two areas of the park. All right, we're gonna get on the bike. I'll get my bag squared away and we'll check right back in. Uh, this is one bummer of this campground and it's kind of a big one. Let's uh, let this car go by here real quick. But they don't, so they're very adamant. Uh, don't bring your own firewood in, which I don't want to break any rules. So I'm not going to do that. But man, at least make it convenient to uh, get some when you're in the campground. So I rode my bike all the way from the campground up to the main entrance. It's a, it's a pretty good ride. I'm like, hey, is there any way you can deliver this? I'm all set up. I thought the kiosk and all that was down in the campground or the host would get it. And I even asked, like, you got a 15-year-old on a gator running around? You know, oh, no, we can't do that. So kind of a bummer, to be honest with you. So I guess fire would plan on predict that, you know, you have to buy it when you drive in. Otherwise you're gonna have to, like with me with a van, I'm all set up. I don't wanna unlevel and do all that. Just go get a couple of pieces of wood. So kind of a bummer. I'm gonna give them a thumbs down on that deal. And they weren't very like, oh, hey, let me see what I can do. You know, it was, oh no, no, we can't help you.
we're back. Oh, man, it's hot and it's hot riding out there. It's good for me. Shower is going to feel great and I'm looking forward to testing that out. I did just want to say I ran into a park ranger just now as I was coming back. I was about 10 feet from my campsite. I stopped real quick and I asked, hey, is there any way someone could run down a couple of bundles? He's like, well, sure, no problem. Tell me where you're at. Get a check ready. You got your thumbs back. <laughs> it's just, it's so far to the to the front entrance to get firewood and the firewood should be down here. I mean, how are folks going to know like, oh, I got to drive, I got to unlevel. I got to drive all the way back there, come back, re-level, re-hook up, redo everything for two bundles of firewood or something. They'll get it figured out. I, uh, I have faith in them. Keep it positive, right? And we got our firewood. It's coming. I got to get a uh, check ready real quick. Dang it. Oh, that was the firewood guy. Might be coming back. Might be coming back. Oh. Are you the savior? <laughs> did you order wood? I did. Okay, because he gave me the wrong side number. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. Oh. Here, I'll get that. Just set it down. I'll get it. I'll I got it. it. Oh, perfect. Man, I was on my bike. Uh -huh. There was just no way, you know. Yeah. And I rode all the way out there. I was like, oh, shoot. I thought maybe there'd be a kiosk down here or something to. Thank you. Four bundles? Yep, no, no. Bye, so. <laughs> I'll donate it to the park. No, buy a soda. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, greatly appreciated. So. Is that right? Is the check the right amount? 24? Yep. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. How cool is that? Man, with this being a new park, I'm sure there's going to be some things they need to... Oh my gosh, the bugs. Some things they need to iron out. I mean, there's no way you're riding a bike up and just grabbing a bundle or something. I have some firewood there. We're going to have a fire tonight. Good day. And thank you, Palisades. Nice work. You get your thumbs up back. We're back to two. And a gold star, because it's pretty. I'm just going to hang a little bit longer. Oh, I do need to, we're going to do, they're cleaning the bathrooms really hard right now. I've been over there for a couple hours. I need a shower, so we're going to do a shower review. I'll let you know how the bathrooms are. We're loaded up. We're heading over to the shower house. Let's see how this goes. It's kind of nice. It's actually just right here. Quick little shaded walk. And, uh, I'll check back after we're done. We are back. Shower was amazing. We're just gonna hang a little bit. Definitely two thumbs up on that bathroom. They don't require quarters to run the shower. You've already paid all your fees. Here's your shower. Really nice shower, super clean. Couldn't have been cleaner. They had just gotten done cleaning it. Couldn't have been more impressed. We're just gonna hang out a little bit this afternoon. This evening, we are gonna go back to the bridge and do some pictures, just do a little casual bike ride down to there. I wanna hit that at some good light. Uh, the bugs are thick. Holy cow, I keep getting, I'm getting bit in the van now. Uh, there's a fly in here and he must hate me. I'll check back in as we get dinner going.
fun doing uh, some pictures last night rode my bike back up to that bridge uh, did some star photography stuff it was really cool we got to get uh, packed up and get on the road here it's time to head home I have to figure out a way I got to start bringing more water one day camp that three gallons I was I'm out already and I need to make some coffee this morning before we get on the road let's get camp picked up and get rolling Good morning, folks. Coffee is ready. Mm, man, it's good this morning. We're packed up. We're going to get on the road here. Everybody, thanks for coming along. This is a solid, solid camp. Put this one on your list. The last two have been pretty cool. White Rock, Palisades. This is good camp. A beautiful park. All the sites are spread out really well. All right. I'd like to stay another day. <laughs> it's perfect here. Beautiful. We got to get going. <laughs> 